This mission has a series of firsts that will help future generations understand more about our solar system. Now that we've collected samples, everyone wants to know when and how they'll be coming back. Ever since the Perseverance rover landed on Mars to join its fellow rover, Curiosity, it has been roving around the planet with one main mission, to find any evidence of life. So far, we can say that the rover has tried to find evidence of life on the Red Planet, but it has not yet found any solid evidence. Yes, it has found components and minerals that suggest there was life, but it has not found any solid evidence for this. But at the moment, there seems to be at least a gleam of hope. So what exactly has the rover found? Hey there guys and welcome back to our channel Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will look at the signs of ancient civilization found on Mars by the Perseverance rover. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. NASA's Perseverance rover, one of the rovers roaming on the Martian surface in search for answers, has found life's building blocks on the Red Planet. Perseverance has managed to find some carbon-containing organic chemicals in some of the rocks that it has managed to examine. To be more specific, this evidence was found on the floor of Mars's Yezero crater. But is this really evidence of life on the planet? Well, according to scientists, some organic compounds can be formed by both biological and non-biological means. Because of this, they should not rush when they find such a compound on the surface because they would require greater research and more intensive tests on it to find out through which process it was made. Even though Perseverance has a lot of tools and technology in it, it will not be doing all of the research on its own. The rover is mostly collecting some samples that will be brought back to Earth for more tests. This is said to happen as early as 2031, and it will be carried out by a joint NASA-European Space Agency campaign. Luther Beagle, a member of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, said, This is a question that may not be solved until the samples are returned from Earth, but the preservation of organics is exciting. Ever since Perseverance landed on the surface of Mars sometime in February 2021, it has been roaming around the 28-mile-wide Yezero Crater. It is said that this crater was once full of fresh water, which made it a huge lake. Perseverance went to Mars on two main missions. One is to search for any ancient life on Mars, as well as collect the first-ever samples of Mars that are to be shipped back to Earth. To achieve the latter mission, the rover was launched with 43 titanium tubes, and so far, six of them have already been sealed. Four of these sealed tubes contain cord rock samples. One has a sample of the Martian atmosphere, the other contains evidence of witness material, which is said to help the scientists discover any contamination that Perseverance may have taken to Mars from Earth. Since then, Perseverance has made quite a discovery on Mars it has managed to find some organics which may indicate the presence of life. Perseverance abraded some rocks with its drill, and as it did this, Sherlock was able to identify some organics. In addition to that, these organics were also found in some of the dust that was on top of the abraded rocks. Even with some of these samples, the Martian processes are pretty new to us. This means that scientists will need to improve their research skills if they are to determine the processes that led to the formation of these organics. Apart from the Perseverance rover, the Curiosity rover has also found some organic compounds on the Red Planet, and this could be the sign that they have all been waiting to show the existence of life on Mars. Curiosity has managed to collect some organics that are rich in a type of carbon that is mostly associated with life back here on Earth. However, just as I said earlier, Mars is a whole new world and planet. The Martian processes remain a mystery, so there is no way to find out what caused the carbon. To this, Paul Mahaffey, one of the scientists who served as the principal investigator of Curiosity's sample analysts at Mars, or SAM, said, We're finding things on Mars that are tantalizingly interesting, but we would really need more evidence to say we've identified life. So we're looking at what else could have caused the carbon signature we're seeing, if not life. Paul retired from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland in December 2021. The new find was very intriguing, mainly because of the Carbon-12 installment. However, this was not the first time that Curiosity had discovered some organic compounds on Mars. 
In addition to finding carbon in the rock samples, the six-wheeled robot has also gone through plumes of methane, the simplest organic molecule found on multiple occasions. One thing, however, is that it is not clear where this methane gas is coming from or from what process it is being produced. For example, the compound may have been generated by microbes that are busy going along with their metabolism underneath the frigid Martian surface. Apart from that, the methane could have also been formed as a result of underground interactions of rock and hot water. This process does not involve any sort of life whatsoever. This could be ancient material produced by either organisms or abiotic processes that were trapped underground long ago and occasionally sips onto the surface. The Curiosity team is very eager to drive through another methane plume and determine its carbon-12 content as it explores the origins of these organics even further. But that is purely on luck, given the fact that they don't know when and where these plumes will occur. Aside from all this, there are those who claim that all the evidence of ancient life on Mars was erased, and there is no more time, but how could this be? Compared to Earth, Mars has a lot of ancient rocks and minerals. The rovers have been examining these rocks to try and find something that would suggest that there was ancient life here. Scientists made use of the Chemin, Chemistry and Mineralogy X-ray Diffraction tool, to compare some samples that were taken from two areas about 400 meters from each other. The results of this were just shocking. They discovered that half of the clay minerals that they expected to find in one area were missing. And indeed, they were replaced with mudstones that were rich in iron oxides. This is exactly what gave Mars the red color. It is possible that briny water filtered through the overlaying sediment layers causing the rock record to disappear. The salty water most likely originated from the lakes that existed when Mars was wetter. Because of this, scientists believe that some of the organic records have been erased by this. And that is why they cannot find any evidence regarding life on Mars. Ever since the Perseverance rover landed on Mars, it has been hunting for any evidence of life on the Red Planet. Most of the time it has come up empty, but there is still so much to explore. Apart from the compounds, the rover even found some sort of doorway in the mountain. It has caused a lot of theories with people saying that it is the entrance to an alien civilization, while others are saying that it's just a cave. To date, no one has ever really known what it is. The search for life on the planet is getting more and more intense. Even the slightest thing that could suggest life is being thoroughly looked into. At this rate, we might just find life on Mars. Do you think that the Perseverance rover will find life on Mars? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mars Discovery, and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.